Bechtel's jewelry has been a staple in Sioux Falls since 1902, and we've been very proud and had the opportunity to serve these people for all these years. We are turning our page in the fact that we are now joining with Tom Fainey, and uh, they are going to be uh, working with us and have joined us in a partnership that uh, uh, we hope will continue to be successful for years to come. I'm the third generation here at Bechtold's Jewelry. My grandfather, J.H. Bechtold, started the business. There was a lot of competition back in those days in downtown. This was before malls or anything like that. Our store uh, has been a mainstay on Phillips Avenue since 1902. We've, been, we've moved once in our history. We moved from 9th Street to where we are located now between 11th and 12th. Thomas Flanies, uh, who's been our goldsmith, for many years now. His father was the goldsmith in, uh, for downtown Sioux Falls starting in 1950. There was a gentleman named Herb Hunt that, that actually was sent by Paul's dad. My dad was finishing up school and uh, actually was helping to teach because he, was, he mastered the craft very quickly. Herb invited him to come to Sioux Falls and said, you've got to come there. We don't have any jewelers of that caliber. That's why I was sent. So my dad came to Sioux Falls, met Bud Bechtold, and uh, Bud and he hit it off really well right off the bat. When he was here, basically learning about Sioux Falls, the thing that my father told me, uh, he was amazed at how friendly everybody in town was. I mean, he'd ask somebody, uh, where's a good place to eat? And they'd give him like five options. And everybody was so friendly and smiling and everything. And after about two hours in town, uh, Larry called his, his wife and said, uh, better get ready, we're moving to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and uh, the rest is history. You know, I think what really uh, brought this merge together in, in a way that's been pretty unique is the fact that we have held the same philosophies with regards to how we think about clients, how we want to serve the community, how we want to actually be there to provide our expertise so that the clients are getting exactly and even more than what they're paying for. We have shared values as far as the quality of jewelry. We have shared values about how we treat customers. Uh, we, sh we share the same uh, opinion of how we should do business and we're excited to, to, to have an opportunity to continue to, to continue to have our business go forward. They've been here since 1902. They don't want to be here just for you. They want to be here for your grandchildren. And they want to be here for your grandchildren's children. So they're looking at the long-term game of providing that service, that unique service of quality and trust and integrity that, that you can count on. And that's something that we both resonated with for, for, for a long time. So I would invite you to come down and share that history and share that experience that we've gained. Uh, now, actually from 1902, my history has come from 1950, but now that we're combining with Bechtel's, we can honestly say that our history goes back to 1902. And we look forward to serving you into the future to the best of our abilities.